Have you ever thought there was nowhere to go? Trying to sleep at night, tossing to and fro. But all you have to do is call on his name, have patience, faith, and stand, and he will ease your pain. Good morning and welcome to your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio. I'm CJ. Let's go. The trap was hot. Literally. The Daytona 500 kicked off last night for its first ever 500 prime time on television due to the postponement from the rain on Sunday. And as soon as the race started, there was a crash on the second lap and from there, it got a little scary and a whole lot crazy when Juan Pablo Montoya had something to break on his car and he crashed into a safety truck while driving alone during a caution and the crash instantly caused a massive explosion on turn 3. The safety truck was used to drive the track and had attached to it a J34 jet engine which holds 200 gallons of kerosene but blessfully Montoya and the driver of the truck was not seriously injured. So after a two hour delay the race was back for 40 laps and in the end Matt Kenseth captured the checkered flag at a memorable Daytona 500 for the second time. Championship week kicks off in college basketball ahead of March Madness and it was Big Monday in men's college basketball with three ranked games featuring four ranked teams as fourth ranked Kansas dominated Oklahoma State 7-58 as Tyshawn Taylor said hands down, man down and scorched the Cowboys for 27 points. 10th ranked Baylor literally spanked sh- Texas Tech and sent them back to Lubbock 77 to 48 as Perry Jones III had a double-double. And 12th ranked Georgetown blasted 19th ranked Notre Dame 59 to 41 as Greg Winterton scored 15 points. And for some HBCU love, Norfolk State got past FAMU 79 to 70 as Chris McEachin scored 16 points. Morgan State eked out a one-point win over Delaware State 73 to 72 as the Bears shot 65% from the field. North Carolina Central crushed South Carolina State 71 to 57 as Dominique Sutton put up 23 points and pulled down 11 rebounds. While Coppin State defeated Maryland Eastern Shore 64 to 60, Savannah State cruised past North Carolina A&T 62 to 50 behind 15 points from Derek Rudolph off the bench. And the mighty Wildcats of Bethune-Cookman muscle past Hampton 74-64 as Garius Holloman got his 16 points off the bench for scores in the MEAC. And for scores in the SWAC, Prairie View A&M got past Alabama State 62-59, Texas Southern easily handled Alabama A&M 69-59, while Arkansas Pine Bluff pounded Gramlin 68-53, and finally, Mississippi Valley State got the best of Jackson State, 78-69, as Kelsey Howard lit up the scoreboard with 27 points. And for the Queens on the hard court, there were six ranked games featuring nine ranked teams as the top ranked, as the top ranked Lady Bears of Baylor narrowly avoided an upset to get past 11th ranked Texas A&M, 69-62, as Brittany Griner poured in 25 points. Third ranked Notre Dame power pass fourth ranked UConn 72 to 59 as Skylar Diggins contributed 20 points to give the fighting Lady Irish the Big East regular season crown. 13th ranked Georgetown was upset against 25th ranked St. John's while 17th ranked Louisville knocked off Seton Hall 63 to 53. 18th ranked DePaul demolished Cincinnati 73 to 51 as Anna Martin had a game high of 36 points. And 20th ranked Rutgers outlasted Marquette 69 to 58. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cjsports, that's C E E J E Y, sports at gmail.com for more information. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and YouTube at cjsports, and make sure you download the Rima Gospel Radio app on your Android phone so you can have Rima on the go. Stay tuned for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle. A little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and keep smiling because you look better when you do.